hello guys welcome back to AppSheet tutorial so in this video we're going to see about required if column constraint so what is required if column constraint basically means so whether the column should be given as mandatory or it's optional one so we have we'll see the demo of one use case called payment type so if the payment type is card means uh, sorry online means we will give us a required column for card numbers if it's a cash on delivery means we'll give it as an optional one so this has some use cases we will see the mostly the required if is basically we'll use so for example in this view columns we'll see the key label and the required so we'll just check if it's a mandatory one or we'll uncheck if it's an optional one but still we can use the conditions so let's see a demo so i am going to add a new table or, or we'll use the previous one so if you are new to this channel just check out the app sheet expressions list so they covered the all the basic important expressions which will be helpful to develop an app in their app sheet so we'll go for this product okay so here so let's create a new one view source create a new sheet called required you So for, for this demo, we are going to ask the what we can say the payment type. Payment type, card number. Okay. So we import the sheet. Select the required if and add this table. So, here we'll go to the columns of this, and uh, first we have to select the key column. So, for this, we'll select the row number as key column, and so it's not a uh, advisable to selecting row number as key column just for this demo and selecting this row number as key column but ideally it should you have to create a unique id and use the expression called unique that should be the ideal one for the key column because why this key column row number is bad means so in some case if multiple users are accessing the app at the same time so for example four rows are added in the fifth row if someone is trying like multiple people is trying to add means it will get conflicted so that's why selecting the row number as key column is not advisable you will get a warning also so for this demo i'm just selecting and for the payment type we will the enum let's say online payment or cash on delivery okay for the e-commerce purpose we can use the cash on delivery and online payment so i am using the required if column the card number it has number data type whereas the required if we will see in the data validity so here you press this is the expression icon and columns the payment type so it's like a true or false so if payment type is online means we are we are making this column as mandatory so if we select cash on delivery then it's became as false so it will be optional one okay this is the one and we'll save saving So now we have to add the UX for this. Select the 
like in the equality column as I saw this as I came here so now we'll check this expression so now the card number is not mandatory because we haven't selected anything so first we will select this online see the card number asterisk marking which means mandatory if it's a cod means we will allow its optional one so i'm selecting as online and if i try to save is entry is required and if it's a cod so it will get added here okay and now we'll try for online everything and we can give validation for this number also how many digits or the debit card or credit card some this will be there that is covered using if that will be covered in the valid if video you can check out the previous video for valid if so here in the card number we will use the data validity to check the number of digits then only it will allow for a card i think so 16 digit number will be there so if you want you can check that valid if expression video okay so this is the one of the use case so in the next video we'll see about the required if and one of the important constraint called uh, what is that columns yeah so all this one and So editable if also there. So in the next video we will see that video. Okay. So thank you guys. So if you have any doubt, just leave a comment. If you have any to this channel, just subscribe and bye bye.